U.S. will stock its army with modernized equipment thanks to Ukraine war aid. Thanks to providing military equipment to Ukraine, the United States of America has been able to equip its own army with updated technology, informs the Telegraph. As the source writes, the Pentagon is essentially transferring its old weapons to Ukraine while receiving funds from the budget to purchase next-generation armaments. Quite literally, the roughly $140 billion the United States is spending on Ukraine through the war's first three years is actually funding a major modernization drive for the U.S. military, the source states. In particular, the U.S. has provided Ukraine with M2 Bradley infantry fighting vehicles from the 1990s. In exchange, the new BMPs were purchased from the manufacturer. Moreover, as confirmed by the Pentagon, the US Army receives full replacement. For every old Bradley donated to Ukraine, the American troops receive one new Bradley with all modern features. It's interesting that the new vehicles received by the United States were manufactured, taking into account their performance in the fields of Zaporizhia and Donbass. One of the main innovations is the Iron Fist Active Protection System, which intercepts missiles and drones in flight. This system has been previously used in Israel, but its use in the war in Ukraine, where drones have become dominant on the battlefield, prompted the United States to increase investments in implementing active protection systems on armored vehicles. In April, the United States announced one of the largest aid packages to Ukraine worth $60 billion. A spokesperson for the U.S. State Department, Matthew Miller, stated that the United States will announce the delivery of new arms packages to Ukraine in the coming weeks. During the telethon, a representative of the main intelligence directorate of Ukraine, Andriy Yusov noted that today a naval drone in the hands of reconnaissance operators is a formidable weapon, and probably the most effective fighter of the aggressor fleet during the period of a full-scale invasion. As of today, the aggressor's Black Sea fleet has already suffered more than $500 million in losses as a result of the actions of the Special Units of Defense Intelligence of Ukraine that use Magura's V-5 drone, Yusuf said. He added that the process of improving Magura is ongoing and after each successful operation the actions of both intelligence officers and the enemy are analyzed. The secret of Magura V-5 Ukrainian maritime drone is in the skill of Ukrainian manufacturers. They were able to create a unique means of destroying the enemy fleet and not only the fleet, but also the weapons and personnel on board at the time of destruction, combined with the skill of the operators and specialists of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, in particular the Group 13 Special Unit of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, Yusuf said. According to the press representative, the Magura V-5 is a formidable weapon, and probably the most effective weapon against the Black Sea Fleet during the full-scale invasion. Ukraine created a secret network of underground weapons factories, El Mundo. The Spanish newspaper El Mundo, citing a source in the Ukrainian arms industry, has written that a network of hidden factories producing weapons has emerged in Ukraine since the start of the full-scale invasion. The source of El Mundo said that some of these factories are located underground, while others are hidden behind huge scenery. El Mundo's source also noted that the issue of keeping the location of these plants secret is of particular concern to Kyiv, as traitors have already been found among the employees of the factories. It is noted that the construction of the hidden network of production facilities is being overseen by Alexander Kamishin, the Minister of Strategic Industries. El Mundo wrote that these factories are currently producing ammunition 
ammunition, all types of drones, Cossack armored combat vehicles, Neptune missiles and Stugna anti-tank missiles. El Mundo states that production volumes have tripled since the 2023 launch, the source said. According to the publication, the Ukrainian government hopes that a secret network of underground factories will help end its dependence on Western arms supplies. And in the future, this network will give Ukraine the opportunity to become a center for the production of weapons for the needs of the West itself. Ukraine has caught up with the Russian Federation in the production of kamikaze drones of the Shahed type. A lot of private enterprise developers and scientists have been involved in the development of new types of weapons. Ukro Baronprom doubled the production of military equipment over the past year. In some areas, tens of times in others, less, in accordance with the needs of the Ministry of Defense and the Armed Forces of Ukraine.